question. Any liability that has a lifetime longer than a year. You don't need to pay it off immediately within an accounting cycle. You can pay it off later years. If it's a long-term notes payable or for assets, if it's mortgages, if it's bonds payable, which we'll introduce in Chapter 10 and 11. All of these are liabilities that are not due within a year. You have a longer time frame to pay it off little by little. Okay? But of course, some of them, if you pay it off this year, it becomes current. But for those mortgages that for later years, then in a standpoint, when it, when it is 2013, if it's a mortgage that you'll be paying in 2015, 2016, from the point of time right now, it's considered long term. But for the portion that you're paying off this year, it's considered current. Okay, but overall, again, notes payable breaks down to two types. Notes payable can be short term, can also be long term. Okay, so the problems usually will specify, will tell you whether this is a six months notes payable or if it's say, let's say, 18 months notes payable. As long as it's more than 12 months, then it's long term. Okay, so the whole purpose of going over all these definitions is, again, because balance sheet usually classifies the accounts based on its liquidity. So the quicker you need to pay off the liability, it will be listed up front in the liability section. If the lifetime of the liability is longer than a year, then it's listed in the second section. Okay, so this is usually how it's represented in a classified balance sheet form. We still have the left side asset, right side liability and equity. It's just that the left side you see current liability section, the current asset section, and then you see plan asset section. So plan asset and long-term assets are interchangeable terms. Okay, plan asset represents long-term asset. Current asset and short-term asset are interchangeable terms. So altogether you have current asset that worth $10,000, long-term asset altogether worth $65,500. So current assets are the ones that can be converted into cash or will be used up very soon in a year. In terms of liability, you see that there's current liabilities that were $19,600. All these accounts, these payables will be paid off within 12 months. Other ones, long -term, notes payable, long-term, $20,000 we'll still see this amount in the beginning of next year. So it will not be paid off within this year. Okay, so this, is, this layout of the balance sheet is not the only one used in the business world. This is called the account form. So the account form is the one that, um, mostly for introduction financial accounting textbooks, we use account form just because it mirrors the accounting equation. Left is asset, right is liability and equity. There's also another format, exactly the same information, just a top, uh, from top to bottom format. This is what we call the report form. Okay, but it still has the upper part assets. We start from asset and again classify them into current and long term. Then you have um, liabilities here, also current and long term, then equity. Okay, all the information is the same, it's just either it's from left to right or from top to bottom. So you just have to know that there's two differences. I'll be focusing more on for the homework for you. It's usually the account form.